Easter Island. Located in the Pacific Ocean, over 2,000 miles off the coast of Chile, this remote island was once home to the Rapa Nui people, who, after flourishing for hundreds of years, seemed to mysteriously disappear sometime in the 18th century. It seems at some point it may be as much as 10,000 people lived there at its peak. But about 100 years later, when more Europeans started showing up on a regular basis, it seemed to be down to about 1,500. So something happened at Easter Island to seriously decrease their population. While mainstream historians have long debated the cause of the mass disappearance of the Rapa Nui, ancient astronaut theorists believe it may have something to do with Easter Island being located in one of the 12 areas that were identified by cryptozoologist Ivan T. Sanderson as vile vortices, places on Earth where strange electromagnetic activity is more likely to occur. We know there are places around the world that have an unknown energy. Easter Island, the only possible explanation is an ancient contact with sophisticated alien civilizations around the world. The traditions of Rapa Nui are absolutely incredible because their entire society is based on this idea that they were seeded by none other than the birdmen. So what were they doing? I've been terraforming and harvesting genetic material on this planet for more than 270 million years. Is that what Easter Island was? A genetic experiment? And maybe that's why they were transferred out. Is it possible that because Easter Island, like the Bermuda Triangle, is located at a place of increased electromagnetic activity, that the area serves as a kind of extraterrestrial portal? A gateway which, when opened, could allow alien beings to come to Earth and humans to travel back with them. In every country on Earth.